opening day tomorrow, I spoke with the chairman of McKinsey Asia, Gordon Orr. Now, Gordon is an expert on the topic of innovation and spearheaded the opening of McKinsey's China offices 20 years ago. Here's what he had to say about innovation in China. Gordon, thank you very much for joining us today. So the theme of this year's Summer Davos is about meeting the innovation imperative. Talk to us about the environment for innovation here in China, uh, especially the incentives to be innovative and creative. On a scale of 1 to 10, where do you think China lies? I think the uh, situation for, for innovation in China is the best that today that has been in 20 years. There's more talent that's able to create innovation. There's more capital that's committed to innovation. More and more businesses understand the value that they can create out of innovation. And people just really see that there's an ecosystem that works, that you, if you innovate, you can be rewarded for innovating, and you can capture the value from, it, from the innovation. All right, so from what you're saying, it seems like the product and the services innovation part is pretty much up to par. You also mentioned human talent. There's also a perception here in China that perhaps there's a skills gap between first tier and second tier cities. Is that a problem, you think, for Chinese innovation going forward? In looking at the talent question, uh, when you're focused on innovation, there's a danger of thinking about averages. Mm -hmm. the, the people who we really care about when we're thinking about innovation are the people two and three standard deviations away from the average in terms of their skills, their aptitude, their passion, and their commitment. And yes, there is a problem in China, I think, for the average graduates being equipped for the workplace today. But that's not what we're focused on. When we're, we want the innovators, the people with the potential to innovate, who are coming out with the PhDs in computer science and the PhDs in biotech, that they are supported, that there's capital provided to them, that there's companies that they can go to and learn how to commercialize their, their, their ideas. Mm -hmm. And I think there, whether it's, like I say, um, larger companies like a Huawei, or startups in biotech like Bygene that um, you know, partners with the, um, the Institute of Biological Sciences here in, in, in Beijing, um, that graduates feel that there's a place that welcomes them and encourages them to, to be truly innovative. I believe there's also an image of China that the country sort of imports a lot of its know-how from abroad. In your chats with executives from across different industries here in China, what are they saying about homegrown innovation, indigenous innovation, that is? Is that being brought up a lot in corporate boardrooms or not? A lot of innovation is about replication uh, and rapid iterations to improve. And yes, if you're in the average corporate boardroom in China today, uh, you'll still be talking about innovation in the sense of replication of what someone else might have done uh, and speed. You know, how do I iterate that? I can go through multiple generations of the product, get feedback from the market, and improve in, you know, rapidly. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's about an era of learning uh, and getting to a level of competitiveness that provides the foundation to move towards breakthrough innovation in the future. Gordon, you've been in China for 20 years now. You've seen how corporate China has evolved. If you could give just one piece of advice to a domestic CEO, whether it's a large state-owned enterprise or in the private sector, what would that piece of advice be for a leader who really wants to unleash innovation in his or her organization? It's almost impossible for you to recruit too many people into your R&D team. The talent is there. The return on innovation in China is getting higher and higher. In fact, it may not just be the opportunity, it may be the necessity for you to continue to success going forward, that you become fundamentally more innovative. That requires more talent. That talent's there. Go out and capture it before someone else does.